instance, the financial situation of the United States. When I talk to my conservative friends right here, they always tell me that the problem is high taxes. But they are wrong. Of course, high taxes are extremely high here in the United States. I, I give you that. You're right in that. But that's not the real problem. The real problem is not the high taxes themselves, but the fact that they are not even really funding the government. But even those high taxes, higher than a lot of places in the world, but even those taxes are really funding the government. So who's financing the government? Government is financed by treasury bonds, paper. And who buys the treasury bonds? Mostly the Fed. And how does the Fed buy them? By printing money. But what backing does the Fed have for that money being printed? The treasury bonds themselves. So basically, you finance the government by printing money out of thin air. Someone could ask, someone could ask, well, so if the government can print the limited amounts of money out of thin air, why did they collect taxes? I mean, in theory, it would make sense, right? If they can print unlimited amounts of money, why would they need taxes for? The answer is simple, but it's very shocking. The real problem is that you pay high taxes only to uphold the illusion that you are funding the government, which you are not. It's shocking, but it's true. The government is funded by money printing, paper backed with paper, a bubble that will inevitably burst. The situation is even worse than it seems, because if most Americans and the rest of the world were to become aware of this farce, confidence in your currency would be lost, the dollar will fall, and the Western civilization with it. If the next president of the United States doesn't make the necessary policies and the structural changes, sooner or later that bubble will burst. There's still time. You don't have to make the same mistakes we did in the 60s and the 70s. You can still jump before the water boils.